Hello, what's going on, guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm very excited to tell you guys everything I know about the Valkyrie support ability. So, let's get straight into the video. Now, I have already list um, over 10 Valkyrie uh, here, and uh, I'm gonna tell you guys each of these uh, Valkyrie support ability, uh, starting with uh, Night Moonbeam. Now, first of all, uh, if you have uh, Night Moonbeam 6 star weapon, which is the Position Blaster. Uh, when using her weapon active skills, uh, it will boost uh, the physical damage up to uh, 20%, which is very good for physical uh, damage dealer. And uh, also, uh, what uh, the what most important about her is her leader skill, which boosts uh, boosted more than 40% critical damage and her crazy uh, overpower evasion skill, which. Uh, will uh, give you uh, 3 seconds or 3, three or 2 seconds of uh, time fracture and you can use her use uh, this evasion skill 2 times if you rank up her to triple S ranking so she's a very important Valkyrie for your physical damage dealer team and she's a must have Valkyrie if uh, you want to boost your uh, Herschel of the Void ability to a higher level anyway Going up next is the Divine Prayer. Now, Divine Prayer is famous for her healing ability in the past, which uh, uh, is very beneficial for uh, Infinity Abyss. Now, but now it now nowadays, uh, she would often be used in uh, some uh, uh, in some um, uh, uh, specific scenario, like for example, like the uh, Lightning uh, Damage Healer team, for example. Uh, if you have uh, Thunder Keikaku, which uh, uh, will boost 30% uh, total da damage uh, multiplier and 60% uh, more lightning damage, uh, so um, which means that this weapon will boost uh, lightning damage dealer team a uh, massive amount of damage. And um, she also have great uh, ultimate skills which uh, famous for her in the past and of course in the present and she is very suitable if you have a, a thunder keikaku slaps on into her uh, also she have uh, a decent uh, of not uh, a great passive skill uh, she has the uh, the skills which lower uh, um, a random enemy in the field by 80 percent for six seconds which uh, in terms equal with the weapon active skills um, uh, Mjolnir over here so uh, she's very good if you can uh, and maybe you can also use her if uh, you are against uh, one on one with a boss and uh, it will constantly lower defense of, uh, of an enemy by 80% for 6 seconds and I think it's very great if you use her in a team like that and um, yeah, so that is uh, that's done for Divine Prayer. Going up next is the Yabubuki Armor. She is uh, famous for her shield, of course. Uh, her shield can be uh, regenerated by various methods. And I'm talking about her augmentation core, not her original, uh, va not her original form, but her augmentation core. So to rank up her to 6 star is very expensive. And... Uh, but it's also very worth it if you ask me and uh, what's important about her is her defensive uh, buff skills and also offensive buff uh, so if you uh, I don't know where the I don't know what the skill where the skills put there I think it's somewhere around here that's it anyway strange ah here so uh, when the shield active you will gain 20% physical damage and 10% crit rate and uh, applies for melee attacks only but what I'm trying to say is that she does not only give you defensive buff but she also gives you some offensive buff as well and if you use her 4 star signature sigmata uh, not 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 uh, signature but uh, recommended right um, and increase her over defense uh, then her shield will be very strong and you will not likely to uh, 
encounter any shoe break for any moment if you have her on your team so um, not only that but when you active her uh, burst mode you will also reduce uh, the uh, bleeding uh, the bleeding debuff when you have on uh, any uh, abyss type of environment so anyway that's done for yambuki armor going up next is a snowy sniper now this is gonna be a little bit quick because uh, what's special about the um, uh, about this uh, snowy sniper is her ultimate now which uh, will, when you trigger her ultimate skill it will frozen every single enemy in the field and it will also uh, increase uh, physical damage that those enemy taken by 35% so uh, yeah, if you have uh, Snowy Sniper, she's also good for a physical damage dealer team. Okay, going up next is the Lightning Empress. Now this uh, Valkyrie is famous for her leader skill, which boosts the uh, um, SP for a team by 60 if you if you uh, rank up her to double S rank, and uh, also for the physical team if you have uh, three physical type. Uh, 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 sorry, the, the uh, physics type Valkyrie in the team, then uh, it would increase the damage by 23%. And what more and what's um, more importantly is her weapon, and um, depends on also depends on the uh, Sigma that they use. If you have a Mark Typhoon, it's also great uh, to um, paralyze enemy on the field and. Uh, going it will goes well with the uh, stigmata uh, that uh, increase uh, damage for the paralyzed enemy so uh, yeah she's very good uh, for increasing SP and uh, yeah uh, famous for her uh, um, leader skill so having her is very important as well and of course if you look at her uh, awakened form which is a Herschel of Thunder having her a double as ranking will boost uh, Herschel of Thunder uh, performance a lot right and uh, next one is the Goof Dawn uh, same goes with uh, Yamamuki armor but uh, she will boost your elemental damage and she will guard you against elemental damage and it's also in her um, in her pub, uh, passive skill and uh, yeah you will gain uh, like 20% uh, of uh, uh, elemental damage if you have her on your team and, uh, next is uh, it's not uh, not exactly molotov cherry but uh, uh, let's talk about the um, grace one holder for for in general right uh, i'm just taking uh, molotov cherry because uh, she has uh, uh, fast animation and uh, good for holding uh, blood dance so any other grace wound uh, holder is uh, useful um, it's, uh, it's okay to use uh, because uh, i'm talking about the blood dance uh, if you own blood dance um, this weapon will boost your elemental damage every element every elemental damage for a team and it's very good if you use it with the Isaac Newton and uh, these two six, six Sigmata over here so uh, any other great one holder is okay to use uh, you know it can be uh, Lilia it can be uh, any other chemical so yeah um, so uh, support ability for great one dealer is holding a blood dance and some uh, internet online memes called the blood dance slave going up next on the list is the starlet astrologos so uh, if you are not if you do not own her um, signature equipment you can use uh, these as well um, for example you can use the stigmata with increase physical damage it go uh, the stigmata will increase the total damage taken for an enemy same goes with this uh, stigmata and uh, what uh, interesting about this Valkyrie is that you don't actually have to use her uh, to sw switch her out because at some point if you reach a certain number of hits uh, she will automatically uh, switch out uh, from her quitty skills and you don't have to switch your DPS out of the field but you still gain benefit from her QTE 
and so this uh, character is also um, very important for the end game material of course now going up next is the phoenix now this character is uh, great for her um, for her many passive skills and she's also a great dps if you ask me so having her in the in the early game will obviously boost her a lot and you can obviously use her for uh, use isaac newton with her if you i mean if you don't her own uh, azure empire of course so uh, uh let's talk let's talk about that later but anyway she goes well uh, with uh, a fire fire team of course and she can uh, increase your damage if you uh, use this uh, two stick mana on her which increase your total damage by 10 percent and uh, yeah if you uh, look carefully on her um, um, passive skill over here you can also see many benefits and uh, based on her playstyle if you can use her uh, maximize her potential with your playstyle and uh, she is also a very good elemental support as well so we are reaching the end here we only have two Valkyries left uh, for Celestial Heap of course she is uh, currently the most well known physical uh, damage support Valkyrie in the game and if you use um, this uh, uh, those equipment over here will maximize her potential now this uh, six star cross will increase um, uh, the uh, increase the crit rate by 25 percent uh, sorry 20 percent and will also increase the sp gain so um, having her on the team is very important for every physical damage uh, dealer team also her um, skills will impair enemy lower their defense by by uh, 50 percent up to 75 percent and her ultimate will gather all of the valkyrie and impair them for 75 percent so what i'm trying to say is that she will boost your she will nearly double your uh, dps damage dealer and she can gather uh, the uh, monster in the field so what i'm trying to say is that she is a very useful valkyrie and everyone must have her in the team in the final list here is azure imperia now she is nearly close to uh, uh, celestial him but she's on the elemental side because well she can uh, obviously uh, increase your uh, elemental damage team uh, by uh, a lot uh, if you ask me uh, just uh, just with her signature stigmata it could boost your uh, damage by uh, elemental damage by 20 percent and uh, um, well, it will also increase the uh, damage uh, suffered by the uh, monster. Sorry, by enemy anyway. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that uh, she can also gather the Valkyrie on the field. She can also stun the uh, gather the monster on the field. Also stun the monster, and she can apply the uh, um, elemental uh, damage uh, gain stage for the monster in the field and with her weapon you can uh, gain uh, sp uh, uh, qu quickly gain sp in the field and if you're using her with uh, the uh, if you're using her with the Herschel of thunder and uh, um, goes well with the uh, bonus uh, sp uh, you sh she will get uh, her ultimate skills in no time uh, after entering the battle so uh, she is a must-have Valkyrie for every um, elemental damage dealer team in the game. Okay, so that's the end of the list. Um, I, I, I mean, you can uh, see that uh, which uh, some some of my team that I have over here. Um, I uh, just for example uh, the physical damage team. I have uh, sub I have uh, one DPS with support is the Celestial Him and the Yamabuki Armor and an elemental damage team I have the Azura Imperia and one uh, Blood Dance Slave is the Molotov Cherry same goes with everything over here um, the, uh, the uh, Azura Imperia leader skill requires three different types of Valkyrie so I have uh, three different colors over here and uh, Lilia can also be used as a Blood Dance Slave and uh, for the Hush of Thunder team uh, of course, she will need to have uh, uh, 
a, a psychic uh, type uh, battle suit. So uh, every um, every Valkyrie I have over here is uh, this psychic type Valkyrie. Same goes for Herschel of uh, Herschel of Void. Uh, physical damage here. Oh yeah, this is my own lineup. Um, my own lineup. Uh, I have uh, Divine Prayer with the uh, uh, Teresa Origin here, which will boost 15 physical damage. Same goes with Herschel Lantana over here. Same goes with uh, Herschel Reason. Yeah. So I think that's the end of my video. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys on my next video. Peace.